All right, so in this video, what we're going to look at is form, or I think it's called form state in the docs. Basically, I'm just going to show you how to make a form. So we already have here at the bottom everything up and running. So I'm going to move this down here ever so slightly just in case an error occurs. This is the page I'm going to be using right here. Like I said, it's already up and going. So let's go ahead and get to setting this up to show you how to make a very small form out of Tailwind using React. And first we're going to make a class name right here. And then what we're going to do is on medium. So that's when it's the medium break with and feel free to go to the documentation and look that up because I don't know off the top of my head. We're just going to call this medium and that's medium on up is going to be the container on the padding on the X axis here. We're going to give it 10, which is about 40 pixels there. And then uh, we're going to do a padding on Y. We're going to do that at four. And we're going to do a background slate of 300. And then we'll do like an MX auto to kind of center everything in here. Um, actually, I don't think we even need that. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. So we're going to come into here. And I know it's kind of formatted funny, but it should be smart enough to know what I want. So now we're going to make the actual form. All right, cool. So now we have the form in here. And the first thing we're going to do, and we're going to do one form, and then we're going to do the second one, and then I'm going to add something to it, um, and I'll explain why. So you're only really going to have to code something once. So we have the form up here. We're going to do a label. And we're going to remove this here. We're going to come in for a class name. And so we're going to call this a, we're just going to uh, give it a, a block right here. And then we're going to do a span. And then we're going to put username inside of here. So then for this class name, what we're going to do is we're going to make this block as well. We're going to do some, let's see, font bold, uh, text slate. Um, let's do... 700 and then for the text size we're going to do 2xl right there so then after this we're going to do our input believe it or not we're actually like really close to being done here so we have the class name right here and then we're going to come in and this is where you can style this however you want to i'm just showing you the work that could go into making a form but since you're making components, right, um, you hopefully will just type these out once and then reuse the components wherever you, you need to. So we have an input, we have class name right there. We're gonna do a margin top of one, which is about four pixels. We're gonna do the width full. So we wanna take up the full width of the uh, container that it's in. And then let's do a For the pixels on the x-axis, we're going to do three pixels on, or um, the padding, I should say. The padding on the x-axis, three, uh, we're going to do two uh, on the y. We're going to do text to Excel, because we want it to, you know, match with the um, username up here. It'd be kind of weird if these two, you know, this and this were both off. And then we're going to do background, and we're going to do a uh, white. We're going to give it a border. The border color is going to be slate, and let's do 300. We want it rounded medium. We want a, a small shadow on here. And we want the placeholder slate of, let's just say, 400. And yes, we're adding more to it. And then focus, we want to do, let's see here. Let's do outline none. And also when we focus, because remember we have to, uh, every single time we want to add something to focus or on blur or whatever, we have to list off every single one as of this version. So we're going to have border sky 500, focus ring one, and then focus as well, right? We're going to do ring which is kind of like a border sky 
500. So cool, we have all of this. We're gonna hit save, we're gonna come in here, and you could see that we have this. So on focus, when we click into it, we could see that that background occurs. We could see it's rounded. We do username. Um, you know, I could come in here and say, you know, hello. But one thing that we did forget to do, or at least, you know, I forgot to do because I'm forgetful, is I got to come in here and add other stuff. So I got to come in here and do type equals text. And then I got to do placeholder. Enter name. So we see now that the enter name is here, the text and all that matches, uh, which is incredibly nice here. And we see the placeholder slate, um, you know, is the color that I set it to, which is nice. And what if we wanted to do something here and, and then replicate it down below? Because say we want a username, but now we want a login, so we want to do a password. So I'm going to take all of this from label up here, and I'm going to copy and paste this. So make sure, pause the video, whatever, look at the code in the description below, make sure you got it. But there's going to be one extra thing I'm going to add in here. And we could do something like this. Invalid. Border. Red. 600. And then for invalid, again, we could do. Border. Four. But rather than text, we could just do something like, you know, email. And we could have, say, let's say, enter email. All right, so this should look good now. We come in here. And let's just say I do, like, um, 420. When I click off of it, it's automatically because of, you know, the type I give it in the input, it sees this as, you know, there's no at, you know, hotmail, aol.com, you know, any of those brand new hip um, email providers. And so it will automatically give you this red if it senses, hey, um, you gave me a, a terrible value. And so this is how you could start building out using making forms. Um, just a simple input and a label, but, as you can see, it does get a little, uh, you know, when, when, when you take it out of the CSS file and jam it in here, like I said, this is why you want to keep, especially with Tailwind, your stuff very organized, um, which, you know, I still don't have a problem with. But if you like what I'm doing, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next video.